Shalom. As always, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. And the word Shalom means peace. May peace dwell with y'all out there to those who are listening. All right, may this be a powerful lesson, you know, through the spirit and power, and giving all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh, Baha Shem. Baha Shem means in the name, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Lord who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, which means in the name, Makako Dash and the Holy Spirit. Yahweh names means he is to be, he exists, he is in all things. Yahweh Shai names, he's a deliverer, he's a savior. All right, I'm Yalakma Ra'ah from the Shepherd of Bread Camp. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles of GMS. Those are our teachers. Uh, double honors go out to the apostles of GMS, you know, who the Lord used to push out this truth, you know, and really have this thing going in the last days. So we have a lot of brothers is waking up in this truth. All right. So Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson and I'll entitle this. You got to believe and keep faith even when you are half a man. Yeah, you got to believe and keep faith even when you are half a man. And in this world, if you are Israelite, you are, in a sense, half a man. Uh, there was a clip sent out. I can't pull it up right now. Um, but there was a clip sent out. And it was this uh, Edomite pretty much speaking and saying, if you don't make $400,000 a year, you ain't, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know? He said, man, if you can't make $400,000 a year, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know, he was talking to all of that, you know, uh, eagle, eagle talk. You know, we're going to call that eagle talk. You know, Esau, Edom, eagle talk. You know, the pride, the bird, you know, the highest flying bird, or the eagle talk, the pride. Right. So as Israelites and we are the Hebrew Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. Also, those who may have a confusion of face and be amongst those who look like they're so-called white. You know, there are Israelites out there who will look like that as well. There are Israelites who look like the so-called Chinese as well. And all the, the uh, nations that are, are um, the heathen nations, you might have a, a, a face. Israelites that have their uh, f facial features, but they're Israelites due to the seed of their father. And, they, you know, mix in with the mother. But the um, not to get too deep, deep into that, but... Um, the point is, what I'm making is that, you know, if you're an Israelite, you know, in this society, in the cardinal sense, in the carnality of this world, you're half a man. You're subject to tribute. You know, um, it says in Genesis. Actually, let me grab that. Uh, I'll go back to this. Luke 17, 21. I got to remember that. All right. Um. Let me get this real quick. This is Genesis chapter 3. Um, uh, 3 verse 15. And I will put enmity. This is with the serpent in the garden, by the way. You know, for those who understand the story, the serpent is not a snake. It was a man. All right. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. All right. And the woman representing um, how Israel will come out of that woman, right? In between thy seed and her seed. Now, you know a woman doesn't carry seed, but the nation of Israel is talking about, you know, for those who have ears, let them hear, right? A woman doesn't carry seed, right? It says, in between, the man carries the seed, okay? It says, in between thy seed and her seed. And we know also a serpent doesn't have seed, all right? So it says, um... It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay? Now, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to tread on these, uh, these, these devils at the end, but they also bruise our heel. And the greatest and biggest injury you can have is the Achilles heel injury, you know? Uh, Achilles heel. Let's go into that real quick, man. Achilles heel injury slows up your movement. Um, I just want to go into what it affects. 
those who know the Achilles heel is going to um, affect your movement. All right, Achilles tendon injuries often cause pain, stiffness, and swelling in the back of your leg near your heel. So, you know, pretty much <coughs> you won't be able to move how you want to move. Well, why is this important? Because as a man, you know, you, you, um, well, let, let me say this. With you not being able to move around, you know, you're pretty much limited to the things that you're able to do. Okay? So the sense of me saying we made half a man, hey, the, 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 the serpent would bruise our heel. When Esau came out of the womb, he held on to the, uh, the heel of Jacob, sec, uh, showing that, you know, um, I'm no, we came, we held on to the heel of, heel of Esau, Salakia. Okay? I apologize about that. All right, um, showing that we will rule next, right? That we will rule next after the devil. So who's in rulership right now is the wicked. And with them being in rulership, uh, the curses were set up in Deuteronomy that they will be the head and we will be the tail, you know? Showing that what? Again, they came out first, they're ruling first. We will be the, uh, the, last, the, la uh, the last to rule, but it's gonna be an everlasting rulership and righteousness, all right? So... You know, this whole point is we're in a, a worst case scenario situation, but not really. All right. When we're dealing within the spirit. All right. So here's a story, you know, as you can see right here in front of you about a man named Zion Clark, a wrestler who was born without legs. And he won wins an MMA debut. So he actually won a pro debut and he doesn't have any legs. This is half a man. So you got to have faith even when you're a half a man. And the only thing that led him through this was faith. Because if you're looking at the scenario, I don't have legs to be a wrestler, right? I'm only half a man, right? How can I beat anybody inside of this, uh, 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 this, 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 this tournament, you know? And, you know, how can I work out as much? How can I build up stamina, you know, if, I'm, if I only got, a, if I don't got no legs? Well... Faith will drive you to do things beyond what is uh, possible to do. See, without Lord, let me get that. Um, go back here. So Philippians. This is uh, the book of Philippians. All right, a church in which Paul wrote unto Philippians chapter four, verse 13. I can do all things through. OK, these is this is our lives are now committed through Yahweh Shai who died for us. Right. Which strengtheneth me. Right. And you have to believe that you can't let this world slow you down. You have to believe that Yahweh Shai is working through you because, yeah, we are only half a man. Right. Yeah. We we can't uh do these do do, th do these things on our own, but we have to work through the system of Yahweh Shai, through a brotherhood system, through faith, through praying, all right. And we have to move even we have to move in the spirit, knowing believing that things will happen, even when it doesn't seem as so as such, you know, even when you're half a man like <laughs> as Zion Clark, all right. So it says Zion Clark, a former college wrestler born with no legs, made his professional MMA debut a success Saturday. Clark, was, who was born with a rare disorder that affects fetal development, won a un, un, unanimous decision over a non-disabled opponent, Eugene Murray, at an event in San Diego called Gladiators Challenge, Seasons Beatings. Um, all three judges scored about 30 to 27 for 25-year-old Clark, 1-0, dropping Murray to zero to five as a pro. Clark, who wrestled at Kent State, wrote on his Instagram page, blessed, blessed is an understanding, blessed is an understatement, thanks to my teammates and coaches to prep me the last few months. Uh, Antonio McKee, the best coach around, uh, one to zero to the next one, let's get it. Well, really is the Lord that allowed him to get that victory, of course. But uh, the main thing is not to get too caught up into uh, this man's story, but it's mainly to show that when you have faith and you believe, right, 
All of the equipment is added to him. The coach was added to him. The teammates is added to him. The funding for him is added to him to get through this thing. So your faith, all right, is what's going to get us. The faith is what's going to get us through the kingdom, all right? And our forefather, Abraham, faith is why we're here. The Lord said uh, he had faith in what Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai promised him to make him a great nation. So he went forth and laid with Sarah, even when what? Even when she was barren and 90 years old. That takes faith. Even when the situation was impossible, it took faith. In the journey they went on, it took faith. They never left out of the, uh, it was never recorded as uh, our father, Abraham, leaving from out of uh, the Ur, the child, these Mesopotamia. They grew up there. And by the time he left out there, he was an old age. All right, he left out there. He had went through situations in Egypt. And he went through situations with the well. He went through many, many situations, right? And the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai was with him and is recorded and he was with them. And that's why we're here. Yes, we use the father of many nations. But if he didn't believe, we wouldn't even be here today. If he didn't believe, he would have never, he would have never achieved. And if he, and if he would have never achieved, then we, we would have never been brought here. So look how far faith can carry. All right. And, then, and again, this, 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 is a gift from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that is what we, that is what makes us a whole man. See, half of us is going to, you know, is, you know, the Lord gave us a, a bit that we could move and see in the carnal, but our other half is spiritual. All right. <clears throat> so you got to have faith even when you're, you know, half a man. He didn't make us a full, well, I'm going to give you completely everything because then we're going to know and go in and speak properly like that Edomite. I don't know. I, I forgot his name. You know, and, and base it upon uh, everything cardinal. All right. So check this out. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, 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 well, not the first scripture, but the scripture I had earlier, which is in Luke 17. You know, and you know this is something to incorporate and pray on, right? This is Luke chapter 17, and I'm gonna start from verse 20, and it says, "When he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai should come. He answered them and said, The kingdom, this is uh, uh, the Lord, the kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. Like, hey, the king, oh, look, it's coming over there. Hey, it's, it's coming over here. It's, 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 it's in this area. It's in that area, right? It's not going to come with observation. For behold, the kingdom of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is within you. It's within you. It's within you. This words right here is uh, spiritual faith boosters. This should uplift you. This should let you know that you are the one. You are the one. You are chosen to do great things, right? In the sense of uplifting this kingdom, it starts with us. You the tool to it. Pushing forth righteousness, praying to the most high, you know, the things you obtain, you giving the glory to the Lord, you inspiring others to pray unto the Lord, you know, you inspiring others to move in his righteous manner, but it's within you. You are the chosen one. You have to believe that. All right. It is within you. All right. And every and this moves off of faith because you're not going to go ahead and get an x-ray and see a whole kingdom inside your body. You know, you're not going to see, you know, any a kingdom inside your body. So what the Lord is saying is that the kingdom um, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is within you in your spirit. All right. But you got to let that light shine bright. You got to let it shine bright, 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 bright. You are the chosen one. You can't lay back no more. We got to get up and actually let this light shine before men. That's what the Lord said, man. Okay, let me get that, man. Let your light shine before men, all right? You can't hide this under the bushel. The, the, if a kingdom is inside you, how could you hide a kingdom? You know what? You can hide a kingdom. A kingdom is great. It's glorious. It has nothing but glory to come out. So that's what's going to be coming out of you is glory, inspiration, light, praises. You know, that's what's going to be coming out. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. All right? A kingdom is the light of the world. It is a rulership that 
you know, see, this Wicked Kingdom of America is like a standard for everybody. You know, it's like the light of the world. It's a dark light of the world. You know, Illuminati. It's illuminated in darkness. But nevertheless, right, it is a light of the world. It's a kingdom, right, a great kingdom of wickedness that people come to and they give their children unto and they make sacrifices unto by, you know, sending a child over here and, and, and taking a little bit of last money and coming over here because, you know, it's a standard to live by. Other nations start to follow with the code, right? Well, we're talking about, we're not talking about America. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai being within you. And ye are the light of the world because ye are the kingdom. Ye are the standard. You are the standard. You have to believe that. You have to pray and, 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 and actually allow that light to shine. Ask the Most High to use you as a vessel to bring forth this righteous kingdom, right? It says, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Ah, see that? A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So you can't hide the kingdom. You can't hide the glory. You can't hide the knowledge. It must be shared by a light. You know, you must be upbeat, you know. Even when you're half a man like Zion Clark, right? <laughs> you must be able to believe, all right, <laughs> that you can what? Conquer, you know, you know, take down, you know, the, 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 this wickedness and still be able to maneuver, you know, and take on these challenges, you know, and, and, and shine. You know, ultimately, that's what he's doing. He's shining in the midst of an unfortunate situation. Well, the most high, you know, that was a judgment, you know, at the end of the day. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 you know, throughout that, you know, you know, a person could just be, you know, really, uh, you know, half a, you know, come on, you could be depressed for the rest of your life and you'll be validated for it, you know, because, you know, you're never going to get to enjoy life. You're half a person. So, you know, what, what are you going to do, you know, uh, for bringing forth children and, and, uh, um, um, you know, procreating and, um. You know, just 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 doing things that other people that you see, you're you're the weird one, an outcast. But <laughs> excuse me. You know, so is hey, Israel. We're like we 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 don't fit in with these rules of these of this world. You know, it's it's hard for you to get a a a a, a, a pre approval for a house. It's hard for you to get a, a approved for business loans. It's hard for you to get uh you know um hired by great companies. It's just hard for you everywhere to go. So. You know, looking at Zion Clark, hey, that is, you know, his whole life was tough, right? You know, and like once again, I'm just using this as an example. He was only half a man. So you, you could you imagine going to school, the embarrassment? You know, when we walk around, we, we, we the embarrassment. People laugh, you know, people talk shit. People already grabbing their bags and clutching, you know, brothers, <laughs> brother get <laughs> uptight about being pulled over. Well, you know, that's just the stereotype that's set forth. You know, now we got people that's amongst us. I will own that are wicked, but they're not as wicked as the wicked. You know, they're not going to pull over others and be like, hey, man, I know you're, you know, a pedophilia ring, you know, pull over some old white dude. Nah, they're not going to do that. All right. Because the stereotype is on us. So, yeah, we're the ones that, 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 that the spirit zones in on. OK, so that's the challenges. But, hey, at the same time, since the light is on us, you know, hey, shine forth that righteousness It's on you anyway. Is that they zoning in on you anyway? So push forth that righteousness, keep the faith, and keep believing. All right? Through the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shimmy, Yahweh Shai by Shimmer Kakadash. All right? And that can be done. All right? Hey, because our forefathers did it. All right? Even they didn't have nothing. Hey, Jacob slept on a, a rock as a pillow. Jacob wrestled the angel. You know? Jacob had worked and got defrauded from out of funds from Laban. He kept pushing. He became a, he, he brought forth the 12 tribes of Israel, man. He was, his name was changed to Israel. All right. So, you know, the, the, nothing was ever easy for us or our, our story. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, when we kept believing, we did achieve through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And nobody likes a boring story. So this is a great story. Make it be a good one. Just keep the faith. Verse 15. Neither do men light a candle. Right. You don't light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. When you light a candle, you put it on a candlestick like the menorah, you know, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. And that's how all in the house. You don't put it under the bed on a bushel. 
right? Ain't nobody going, everybody going to see the light. So you got to keep it out in the open so everybody can see the light, so they can see around the room, you know? So they can have a three, they can have a well-lit perspective of what the hell's going on. So you might be the one, and like, man, they can't see it because they're in darkness. Unless you shine forth your light and emit that energy, yeah, their eyes is going to be like, damn, what the hell are you talking about? Because you just lit up a room full of darkness. But as you keep shining and keep shining and keep shining and keep shining and keep emitting that light, they either going to run because they don't want to see that bright light or their eyes is going to adjust as eyes do adjust when you turn on the light. You know, after they squint, after they squint, after a while, their eyes do adjust, you know, and then they're going to what? Be able to see what the hell's going on here because the devil himself, all right, covered the world. He covered the world with lies. He covered the world with deceit. And he really covered the world with a lack of faith, man. That's what he did. He made everything carnal. So now there's no faith. It's just go through these systems. Go to my school. Go here. Go there. Go do this. Do this. And this is your path to success. And nobody ever gets through that path to success that way. You know? <laughs> they just get a bunch of student loan debt and this, that, and third. And they end up looking, you know, like, you know, just pretty much, you know, man, just went through hell. Isaiah 25 and 7, and he will destroy in this mountain, in this government. The word mountain means government. It's interchangeable with government. Remember it says a city can be set on a hill? Well, yeah, a mountain um, represents a government because it's set on the top. America is pretty much set on the top tier, right? And he will destroy in this mountain, this government, the face of the covering cast over all the people. They can't see. And the veil that is spread over all the nations, right? He's blinded the people. So, you know, the Lord said what the open... The blind eyes, right, from out of the darkness, okay? This is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 7. He said, I'll start from 6. I have called, I, I the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh, I have called thee in righteousness. So he have called you in righteousness. He gave you, admitted the light in you. He admitted the wisdom in you. You always been a one that never, you always been a one. You just have been a one, right? And, and will hold thy hand. He's holding your hand. He's been with you. He's been guiding you. And will keep thee. And give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles. You see that? So the kingdom of heaven is within you. You are a light for it for others to follow. You are the trendsetter in righteousness. You just have to catch up. Verse 7. To open the blind eyes. See? To bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Because that darkness has them in a prison. And we all know of the foul behaviors that happen in prisons, right? You're going to get molested in prisons, right? You're going to be uh, get beat down in a prison, right? You're always going to be, uh, 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 um, you're going to, hey, you think you have, we think you have a man here in a prison house, shit, you less than, you're not even a, a human. You like uh, state property, pretty much, right? So, we're trying, the Lord wants this light. You got to admit this light. You got to admit it out. So there was a sit in darkness that could come out of the prison house. I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another. Neither shall, neither my praise to graven images. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, calling you forth to actually admit forth this light, man, and be a beacon, be a tower, man. Be a tower. Hey, one thing about the towers that's over near the ships, right? That um lighthouse. Hey, if that lighthouse is not there, that ship will fucking crash, man. And imagine all the cargo or the people that's on it, they'll die. And the cargo will be lost. So the lighthouse is very important because it actually shows them the way to come inside to the to the land to so the so the ship could come in safely. You see? That's a very important uh aspect. And you are that. <clears throat> you are that. But you have to believe that. And once you believe that, then you're going to do the duties of it. You know, you're going to shed light on things, man. You know, you got mothers out there who are, are starving their kids. Seen one article, mother starved the kid. You know, this is around the time of so-called Christmas, man. You know, so you got to, man, these things got to be shed light upon because you be thankful for the, the, that the most side don't have that a wicked or evil spirit on you like that. And you be thankful as well, you know. Hey, to, you know, as a as a child, that you know, you 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 your mother didn't have those type of spirits on you, and you also know that they're, they're, they're this this could be anybody, you know, but you gotta shed light on who's doing the judgment, who's you got this has to be told and known, man. 
So the air all can fear unto Yahweh by Shem Yabashai by Shem Kadash. If we were speaking me and the priest Karak I was speaking to this brother in the locker room, and we was talking, and he mentioned, hey man, they think they get away until they're gonna come back on this earth. And we was like, Yeah, <laughs> you're right about that. And I was like, yo, but that's the scariest thing. And he said, you know what? He said something spiritual. He was like, Yeah, it's good. He said that that it's not a scary. He said, Yeah, it's a fear, but it's a good fear. That's a fear that's gonna keep you back from doing anything. And, you know, spiritually, he said that. And it was like, it's like, absolutely, because it's a, it is a scary thing knowing that, you you know, the judgments of the Lord, right? But it is actually a good thing because it keeps you back from doing things, you know? You know, when that spirit is on you. So fear is supposed to be on you, you know, until the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Kadash, right? All right. So we read that, man. You know, the kingdom of heaven is within you. So, I want to read one more. I want to read actually two more scriptures. This is Luke. Uh, um, 17 and 19. I'll start from 17. I'll start from 14. And when he saw them, he said unto them, go show yourselves unto the priests. And as it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back with a loud voice and glorified Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, just to uh, cleanse the lepers. Let me start from verse 12. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him 10 men that were lepers, which stood afar off. So you had men, right, even to this day, that had lepers. I think uh, lepers will deal with, uh, um, lepers deal with, uh, uh, like when you got those, uh, like, Villalago. There's white patches on you or blonde hair spots. Um, I think, yeah, that's pretty, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, yes, uh, yeah, pretty much is a bad skin condition, you know, a, a, a breakout on the skin, you know. And, hey, there's other, you know, other different forms, but lepers, yeah, would we'll deal, deal with those patches, right? It says... And they lifted up their voices and said, Yahweh Shah, Master, have mercy on us. And when he and when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. So check that out. The Lord was uh they well, let's keep going. You know, but hey, the man of the Lord was beautiful because hey, you could have said, You dudes is unclean, man. Get that, get away from get away, get away, get away from me. You know, in a sense of you know, justifiable aid. You know, it could have brought out a Leviticus precept, right? It says, verse 15, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. But with aid, you could have cut him with a precept, but what's more, aid, hey, the Lord actually healed them. That's going, at the end of the day, it's about the, what? Activating that faith. You know? Yeah, you could, you could have cut them sharply, you know? Damn, they went by, went down sorrowful. Damn, man, I'm just, man. I'm, but the Lord uh, cleansed them. To, uh, you told them what to do, right? And they go, it's cleansed. And then that, 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 they, 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 they believe. Their faith just went on, you know, their glorification went, went on high. But verse 16, and fell down on his face and at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Now we know that. He was a Samaritan, okay, by the area he was in, but this was an Israelite, right? Verse 17, and Yahweh Shai answering and said, because they were priests, right? I mean, they were, uh, they were, um, they were, um, they didn't say they were priests, they were 10 men, Slakia. says 10 men, that's just Slakia about that. Um, verse 17, and Yahweh Shai answering and said, were well, there not 10 cleansed, but where are the nine? There, there are not found that return to give glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, save this stranger. Now, I ain't no, this ain't a, uh, this is a stranger for him not knowing the Most High, an Israelite foreigner. You see, ain't no uh, foreigner uh, like, a, like a heathen going to come and then glorify the Most High. You know, this is an Israelite foreigner, okay? And then at one point, the Lord said, don't go into the Samaritans. So, you know, there was Israelites living among Samaritans, okay? Now, check this out. Verse 19, and he said, un said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. 
So what did it? Was it the Dr. Sebi diet? Was it checking out T. Walk the Hulk and his alkaline diet and drinking only spring mineral water? Was it him staying away from spinach or the hybrid kale? Was it him actually taking, you know, any, it seemed, you know, like, no. It was his faith that made him whole. So what is faith? Faith is... You know, and we need this day in and day out. We need, we all need this because this is for the spirit. You know, this is what helps you keep you going. You know, I need this. If I wasn't getting this, the spirit wasn't on watching brothers' videos and getting inspired and reading the, the scriptures and all the Holy Spirit, the Lord lift me. I, 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 we, we're out of here, man. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance. So hold on, man. You don't need weed. You don't need a uh, coke. You don't need fucking liquor. You don't need uh, this. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. So hold on. Why niggas, why dudes is out here putting all their money inside to get marijuana, to get, uh, uh um, you know, because they call that, uh, uh, when you get arrested for it, right? <laughs> they call that a substance, right? A substance. And when you go into the word substance, sub meaning under, stance, right? So it's like a support, right? Faith is the support of things hoped for. You see? So when the steers ain't there, right? Faith is going to support you. Let me say that again. Substance under for you to stand, right? Now faith is the, right? The support for you to stand, right? Of the things hoped for. So whatever you hoping for, you're going to get it through faith carrying you through. The evidence, let me finish, the evidence of things not seen. Oh, so you're not going to see it. Oh, it's not going to be there. It's not, it's not going to be clear. It's not a, it's not right there. Oh man, you know, we got it. No, you walk in and you taking a step, all right, on faith. Is getting you closer to the things that you're hoping for. All right? For by it, verse 2, the elders obtained the good report. That's what Abraham went off. Sarah couldn't have no babies carnally, physically. All right? So they tried the carnal route. Hey, man, go ahead and sleep with Hagar. But that wasn't who. Uh, now, that happened all through the spirit as well. Don't get me wrong, because Ishmael had to come forth, the Lord, uh, for father of many nations. But that wasn't who his uh, line was going to go through for uh, what was told unto his promises and the uh, covenant. So like the covenant, right? The promises and the covenant. Yeah. Okay. It was going to be through Isaac who came through Sarah. But Sarah couldn't have babies. She was barren and she was of old age. But what got them close to the things hoped for was faith. Stepping on those stairs of faith. And she laughed. And she laughed. And an angel came to her and told her this too. So she laughed at an angel telling her that. <laughs> so they named Isaac Laughter. You know, as a, you know, it was a mock. <laughs> like, all right, now, that, now is your son name going to be Isaac. You know, so that stick to your mind. Hey, the Lord is dealing with us. And he's dealing with us in a peculiar way where we have to believe and have faith. Let that light emit. Keep faith. Keep the fight up. Praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah day in and day out throughout all your situations in life, man. Keep this, keep it going. You know, this is what our forefathers went through. This is what they went through. They, yes, there was mistakes made, but what made everything a great report was what? Having faith. So you make a mistake, right? You get back up, you fail, you fall short, you get discouraged. But you gotta just keep using faith to get to the next step. You know, just because you fall short and start crying. It ain't going to make a, a cardinally pop up. No, the Lord wants you to get your ass back up, right? <laughs> the Lord going to hear your cries, don't get me wrong, but you got you to gotta go back out there and try again, you know? And then you take that step forth and then you get closer to the thing hope for, and which is the kingdom of heaven. At the end of the day, we're hoping for the kingdom of heaven. We're hoping for this, uh, this righteousness, a land of righteousness, but that is within you. So you're going to have to keep going forth, being bright, you know, stepping forward in life, although, you know, Satan going to test you, you're going to, you know, the Lord is actually uh, testing you, just using Satan, 
right? And hey, we got to pray unto the Lord and keep having hope in it. That's it. And as we take them steps forth, we're going to get closer and we're going to get closer, right? And we got to keep shining forth that light, man. You know, so Lord willing, this was, uh, uh, let me, let me uh, read verse three. Through faith, we understand that the worlds are framed by the word of God. So how was this world framed? It was framed over a substance of things hopeful. So could you believe that? It came out of a hope concept, all right, that all the worlds was framed, right? By the word, I mean, that uh, uh, we understand that the worlds were framed, right? Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, right? Because um, we believe that, Slakia. Uh, I was saying that uh, it was framed off of hope. It was framed off of the word of the Most High. I want to just be completely accurate because this is what the scriptures say. You know, and it says, um, do the word of the Most High. But through faith, we believe that. Hey, but you know why? There's no scientific evidence of who can explain why there's a perfect percentage of oxygen in the air. Nobody can explain why. They just say, oh, yeah, Big Bang Theory. But nobody can break down why. Well, how did the humans get? How, how, how? Oh, no, we evolved from apes. So why the apes are still apes and we're humans? You know, what the fuck happened to them? You know, what type of shit happened to them? You know you know what I mean? So it got to all make sense. It has to all make sense, you know? But we understand that it was framed by the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's how it happened, man. So that the things which are seen, right? The things that we see here with our eyes, right? We're not made of things which do appear. It is, you know, the things that don't appear, we understand. Oh, snap, there's angels around. <laughs> you know, we understand that, man. We understand the Holy Spirit, man. We understand these things, man. We understand it, for real. But that's through faith. Okay? Checking in with faith, right? By faith, Abel offered up unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah more excellent sacrifice than Cain, his brother. Right? He offered it up because he believed. He had faith. This was, a, hey, I believe this is a better sacrifice. Right? And he did it. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, testifying of his gifts, and by it being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was found not because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is all through faith. Just believing, admitting that light. This is why these men say, hey, they're the light that we ought to follow. You just got to keep, keep it. Pray for that faith. Pay, you can also pray to increase your faith. I believe the faith means I'm a war, I'm a war, I'm a, I'm a, I, I could be wrong. It's a lock, yeah. I could be wrong. I, I got to check that. You know, um, but that is, to, uh, 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 A, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's a beautiful concept right there. You know, so you got to believe that hey, you got to have faith to believe that the kingdom of heaven is, is, is within you. And this word, you know, you got to believe in it because it says Hebrews chapter four, verse two, for unto us was the gospel preached. The good word was preached unto us, right? As well as unto them, as well as the people out there. But the word preached did not profit them. It didn't profit or benefit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So the word of the most high has to be mixed with faith. You got to believe in it. Going back to Hebrews 11, for we know that the world was made by the word of the most high, why? But through faith, right? It has to be mixed with faith. That's what activates everything. And once you have faith in that and believe what Yahweh Shah said, the kingdom of heaven is within you and you are a light, then you're going to go forth and admit light and admit righteousness and understand your importance inside of this world, man. Inside of this life, man. It's to admit of righteousness, man, 24-7. You know, 24-7. Hey, it's needed, man. It's needed because there's, there's nothing but darkness here. There's nothing but darkness in this, in this society, man. Where's the light? All right, you are the light. <laughs> you know, so in any headquarter, in every area, be that light. Be the one that people, you know, come into and then those who are going to move away from it is because they don't got faith. You know, they, don't, they, they, they can't see. You know, it say we walk by faith, not by sight. You know, we walk, that's, that's, that's how we're going to move. So we got to understand that and understand our role inside of this and just trust in your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, and in the middle of the righteous, the righteous energy, man, that the Lord have put within us, that righteous spirit. Um, verse six, 
but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right? The most I'm not pleased about anything carnal. He's not pleased about this man making four hundred thousand dollars a year. That shit is garbage. He could talk all that crazy shit he wanted. The most I'm not in, 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 uh, pleased by that. The most I'm not pleased about uh, 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 dudes who's built up, you know, these trainers from the bottom. The most I'm not pleased with under this carnal behavior. Right? It says without faith, it is impossible. Meaning you can never, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You actually got to know that the Lord going to reward you. You actually got to know that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh going to make a way. You actually got to know that the Lord is going to wake up the whole four elect and we're going to get up out of here. You actually got to believe that the Lord is uh, using you as a vessel to wake up brothers and sisters. You got to actually believe that the Lord is choosing, calling you to be inside of his uh, righteous, um, that, that, that one third, man. You got to believe in that, you know? You know, you got to believe in that, man. You can't let that just fall off. Oh, man, oh, man, you know, I don't think. Nah, you got to believe. You got to believe. Hey, that's what's going to make you move. Verse 7, by, by faith, no being warned of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, of things not seen as yet, right? You know? You move with fear. You had brothers going on, you had the apostles going on the highways and byways talking about the end of the world and the wars and, and the mark of the beast and all of that before they even brought forth the RFID. Now it's, now it's being out. It's out here. It's a big thing that everybody sees it. Before they was doing that. Talking about the wars in Russia and, and before they was uh, firing it off in Ukraine. They fired off 120 missiles and, and some damn kamikaze drones. You know, before all of that, you know, the, 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 the apostles, our apostles been talking about that, man. Before that, you know, you got the tribes uh, 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 being dropped off, you know, uh, um, from out of Mexico, they being dropped off here. They was dropped off in D.C., dropped them off in New York, you know. Hey, that's the tribes being brought together, you know. And a priest, Karak Khan sent that out, you know, and then that, with that preset that the, uh, the, the, you know, Ephraim and Judah uh, being brought together. I bent my bow, you know. Hey, this is all, everything that happened isn't spiritual, but these things I would prophesied and talked about. You see? Last days used to be a Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, as nasty as this stuff is, it's getting, but this is prophecy that it was supposed to be fulfilled. Okay? <clears throat> By faith, no one being warned of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, things not seen as yet, move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. So the more we fear, the more we go on the highways and byways, the more we pray, the more we repent, the more we hope in, you know, the Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, deliverance, the more, hey, brothers was talking about the chariots before they, they, they put it out there with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, uh, with the Navy, you know, before they created a space forth. No, brothers been believing and talking about it. All right, so with us doing that, man, we condemning the world pr pretty much. Because that means the judgment is going to happen if we pray. That means the judgment is going to happen if we fear it. We, 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 we see the judgment. It's like we actually see the destruction that happening right now. We see it, you know, so you, you kept back, you keep it, you reserve, you fast, you pray, you, you know, you, you, you doing these things because you're fearing, you how about Shem, Yahweh Shah, because you see the judgment that you can see the missiles drop, you can see the judge, you can see coming back before the Lord and task, you can see that being the, the people being shaped. You can see that. You can see what, what, what that what's gonna happen. You don't want to be an aid. That's why uh Edris see that he said, Oh man, what was me? What was me? Who shall deliver me in those days? He's seen it. And that move made him move with fear, you see. Hey Amen. So check that out. Though. You know, if much more brothers and sisters is out there reading this, you know, uh, being moved with faith. You know? Uh, with that being said, I'll say, Call hello, you know, how about Shimmy Abishai, by Shimmer Kakadush. Uh, let me read two more. Let me read two more. Verse 8 By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, ah, obeyed. He obeyed. He didn't say, Nah, I'm too old. Nah. I'm going to find a job out there. Nah, I've never been to Egypt before. Nah, I don't know, man. What if it ain't right? You know, all types of excuses. What if the weather ain't right? What if I don't got nothing to pack. I don't got no new shoes. I don't got no hiking gear. Yeah, it's all types of shit, but he didn't care about that. He obeyed. Okay? And he went out not knowing whether he went. He didn't even know where he was going. Check that out. He didn't even know where he was going. And he went out. So that's faith. 
Oh, man, Barack Day, Barack Day was shot by a shimmer cock dutch, man, for that, man. Father of faith, man. That's a beautiful spirit to have, man. That's pleased Yahweh by Shem Yahweh not knowing whether he went. You know, it's like everybody got to map it out for your ass for you to see it, man. Nah, the most I don't want that, man. The most I want you to just move off of faith. And shout out to those who are doing it and showing that. But this is what the Lord is pleased off of. These are the children of Abraham, okay? The ones who's moving off of faith, you know? Amen. This is a beautiful thing. This is a very, uh, very, you know, this is very touching. Verse 9, by faith he sojourned in a land of promise as in, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. So they had to dwell. Dwell in tabernacles. Hey, and the Lord increased Abraham throughout that process. He became very rich. He, then he had to, uh, him and uh, Lot, then they had to separate because they had too much uh, cattle and sheep. Hey, it was blessings and things going on too. It got challenges, but they got blessings as well. All right. For he looked for a city which had found which which had foundations who build it and make it his God. He said, I ain't looking for the I want the foundation. He checked the foundation. You know, that's important. You know, you got to check the foundation because a certain uh uh, uh way we building a house, right? You don't want your house to be on a bad land where it could possibly be uh, they drop some uh, chemicals, you know, or the land sinks in, you know, or the, 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 the grass, you know, you, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want it to be on a, 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 a land where it is bad, right? Because it's going to affect the foundation. For he looked for a city which have foundations, right? Who build it and make it. It's your house. So why wow, do you, you believe that, man? What type of foundation that was? Whose is Yahabashim Yahabashah? A city which had foundations? Not just a house, a city. That's strong right there, bro. You're talking about a whole city that got a foundation of Yahabashim Yahabashah. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. Hey, she believed, you know? Hey, Sarah believed. <laughs> And was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. All right. Oh, no, no. Salakia. It says through faith also Sarah herself received strength to, con to conceive seed. Hey, so Abraham's faith. When he when he, you know, so as to get a little vision, when he when he went into Sarah and let go that seed inside of her. She received strength to conceive seed. Just off of his faith, he admitted. When he went in there, he believed the child was coming into this month. He, he believed that. That's how strong Abraham's faith was, y'all. When he went to Sarah, she was 90, she was old. He went into her oh, visualizing her belly about to bust with a baby. That's how galactical uh, Abraham was. And was delivered of a child when she was past age. You know, she wasn't supposed to have that. So who, how, how did that happen? Through the faith of Abraham, right? When she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised, right? She judged who faithful who had promised. Who promised that? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? So, hey, you know, do it all. Hey, you know. That that faith rubbed off and went in there. She got that. She <laughs> through faith also Sarah herself received strength, received strength to conceive seed. <laughs> so she received strength through faith to be able to conceive seed. So check out the double uh thing. She received seed, a child out of faith, eight Isaac, right? First, she had to receive faith to receive. The seed. So it's not the child. It's not the 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 the, 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 the seed. It's not the 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 the, the oh the, he took a concoction of some herbs. No, it's the faith first that came into her, right? In order that brung her strength, right? For the whole womb. The womb was like a like a like a like a 16, 17 year old. And I'm using these young terminology already, man. You, you two of my son. I'm be all right, 18. God, dude, fucking motherfucker. 
You know, <laughs> because that's when a flowering period is. You know, is 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 when they is when a female was young. So that's why I use the age, said the age. How <laughs> to damn there correct yourself? Because they that's when they ate. Because when a woman is younger, right around those ages, eighteen, okay, and those ages, they're able to um have a more stronger child than someone who gets up there in age. When they get higher up in age, the child is gonna be weaker. Okay, because they're having a child in a po at a potent age, you know? So, um, through faith, also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age, okay? Because she judged him faithful who had promised. That's beautiful, man. She judged the Lord faithful who had promised. So you gotta have faith in the Lord who's promising you these things. You gotta, you, you gotta, she, you gotta know that the most I got faith in what he's saying that he's gonna do. All right. So man, that's beautiful, man. Uh, um, uh, verse 12, therefore. Sprang there even one of him, even of one in him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky and the multitude and the sins, sin which is by the sea, sure innumerable. Uh, sounds like Jacob and Esau. Um, even one, therefore, spring there even one, and him as good as dead. Yeah, I believe that's Jacob and Esau because they said, you know, Ashwashwa, he looked like uh, he was. Half dead. But these all died in faith, not having received the promises. Hey, they didn't even receive all of hey, but the most high blessed, they got to see great things, right? But having seen them afar off, right? Through faith and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. So check that out, bro. Half a, you know, half a man situations. <laughs> pilgrims on the earth, but they believe, man, they're gonna get this, you're gonna get this uh this W. So with that being said, <coughs> excuse me, call Lord Yamla Yaba Shimmy Abba Shaba Shimmy Kakadash. Until the next time I say Shalom, Lord willing is an edifying lesson. You know, a slack here for you know a couple of uh, the, the the stumblings, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, remind me, you know, correct me during the during the time for some of the things I mentioned. But uh, at the overall end, this main thing is just about having faith and letting that light shine within you. Don't smother it. Don't let the world uh, smother it. Don't let the world give you examples of how a person's supposed to be in order for you to be cheerful and, and lighted and, and things of that nature, whether there'll be finances or, or Esau's credit score systems or, 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 or whatever the hell it may be, business related, you know, as long as you having that good, that, 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 that good intention as far as waking up that hopeful elect and pushing forth this truth, you know, and going out into the world and and, and, and being righteous, you know, and, and, and uh, giving glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, and inspiring others. Hey, that's what matters. Your, 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 your account is good. That's what pleases the most high. Not the physical things here. So don't let the, the, the physical things here, uh, you know, displease you, you know. And then you can't please the most high because you're losing faith. Because you're waiting for this to make you feel good, you know. Hey, so call all your Mla, Yahweh, Shim, Yahweh, Shai, Shimmer, Cockadush. Till the next time, Shalom, Boom, Shalom.